<laughs> All right, here we go with another episode of Narrated Rolls. I'm working with uh, Megan Parducho. This is a year ago. I'm sorry that the uh, the person holding the camera held it vertically. I go for a two-on-one. She takes a shot on me. She goes for a fireman's and slips. Doesn't make the grip properly. Her head's down, so I, I go into one of my guillotine variations that I really like. My right hand's wrapped around the neck, and then my left hand basically has like a collar tie, but I'm grabbing the outside of my wrist. Again, I'm, I'm putting something on it. I think I have it at this point. She's trying to survive it, and I realize it's going to take too much strength, so I just go ahead and push her away, and she goes for footlock. And, oh my goodness, she goes belly down, and I got caught. So, that's pretty much it. She uh, she caught me, so no big deal. Let's slap hands, fist bump. Let me start waking up a little bit. Two on one. This is the time when I was going for my standing Merkel. I do have a video on that if you guys are interested. Hooking my left foot at the inside. I try to shuck her arm. I lost it. Go for an ankle pick off the underhook. Catch the ankle pick. I'm in half guard now. I've got kind of like a Sanchez position. Chin and underhook. Let me come back up into side control is what I want. Um, Megan's very small. She's about 115 pounds. She tried to spin through like the ghost uh, to come out into a sprawl. I finally released. I looked for the back, but didn't happen. Um, controlling her wrist, trying to keep. Now I'm grabbing my foot. I want to get it on the inside of her biceps, but I missed again. Hand control. I go to a turtle, sit back, get to my seated guard. So she goes for a guillotine. She loves guillotines. I was able to wrap up her legs. We ended up in this position quite a bit um, where my legs are controlling her legs while she tries to guillotine me. She's attempting to pass. The threat was pretty good, so uh, I ended up losing the, the guard. Captured an ankle right back. She checks a back step. She's looking for the underhook, the Sanchez position um, with chin and underhook. Um, I'm really thinking how can I create a back attack from here that's what I really want um, she's got my neck but uh, she ends up giving up position so I just come up on top and double leg she goes for a guillotine so no big deal I'm driving my pressure forward I'm trying to be as efficient as possible passing the guard she lets go of my head I'm making sure like in a leg drag I smash her hips and I decided to back around this way and go into like what Tenth Planet calls Twister Side Control. Looking to ninja roll right here and kind of kind of catch her back, but it didn't work. I was thinking about stoner control at this moment. If you guys aren't familiar, I do have a video on that as well. Uh, she got her right leg out. I've got the lockdown. I've got my right arm under hook, but she's holding me very tight. I flirted with uh, pulling on her foot, so catching like a calf lock. Um, trying to frame, trying to get my uh, jaws of life going so I can get back to double underhooks. And I do. So it looks like I should be trying to whip up right here and get on my left side. I want to get on my left side with the whip up. So I'm going to pick her up like a baby. Get my hands. She's really trying to smash. That pummel game's going. I get on my side. I'm thinking about uh, electric chair uh, in old school. Eddie Bravo's little half guard system. I, I capture the foot, pass it to my right hand. Um, I want to come on top. She actually gets her leg out of the lockdown, so I better come up. So as I come up, she goes guillotine. Again, I'm not worried. I'm keeping her foot. I pass the guard. I've got good pressure. Not Oh, she turns her back, and I spin to take the back. So I'm not, not you trying to use a ton of strength during this roll. Actually, I go for handcuffs right there. I just dropped that video actually just a few days ago. So if you want to see how I trapped her arm, that's in the handcuffs. Notice I still have my left shin. I pull it behind her back, pull my left hand out, and now her arm is trapped. So she's got my right foot between her legs. She releases it, and I bring it, I believe, across the body. It's still a hook. Yeah, I'm starting to bring it across the body. I'm trying to keep good control and nicely dig for the neck. I probably should have went for the muffler. So it just wasn't in my head that day. Um, looking to isolate her right arm now, playing with a power half Nelson from wrestling. Come back to wrist control. 
She exposed her neck right there, but it just wasn't the time. I go for her neck. She's pretty good at rearing a jerk defense. She's got a nice twist going. Um, she's trying to peel my right hand off so she can twist and escape. I pull her back to this side. I'm minding the position she wants me to cross my feet, a la Sean Roberts, but I am not giving her that. I go for the rear naked, and she's got her chin down. She's really good at keeping my head out of position so I can't finish. I had to release. I've got my right hook in. I hit a ninja roll, and she started to take my back, so I had to release. And we scramble back to our feet. Again, she misses a fireman's carry. We're in a leg drag. Um, I'm backing my left hip into her, smashing her hook. Looking to come back around again. Maybe twist her side control, but she ends up getting me in this uh, donkey guard a little bit. A little open donkey. And uh, as she twists out, turns into a leg drag. Controlling her leg, I'm thinking about what I want. I see right there a toe hold, so I slap at the toe hold, but you're always trying to set up multiple moves at a time. I'm actually setting up either toe hold or knee bar or maybe arm bar. She exposed her arm enough. I went for the arm. It wasn't there. I go back for the legs and lock my legs tight, keeping her legs in the middle. This is the same position you can create when you go for the double ankle sweep from guard. When she does it to me, you can wrap your legs over uh, a la Gary Tonin really popular at doing this trying to cross the legs um, that's what I'd like to do I want to cross the legs and look for heel hooks her tiny little feet are really tough to get in leg locks I'm making sure she can't get me in one as well and let's see as I believe yeah I do end up getting them crossed I kind of just want to get out of this position so I release and then she immediately snatches up my leg and I freak out and tap Again, she rips up my foot. She's a she's a beast on the foot. So, no joke, not whatsoever. I get back up. It's time to wake up. All right. I think that's two foot logs. I go for a Russian two on one. She's posting me with her left hand. I'm looking for the Merkel. Left leg comes in, makes the hook. I'm gonna shuck her arm forward, capture the Merkel, and roll to the mat. Again, there's a video on that if you guys want to check it out. Um. Got the Merkel. I really want to get the back from here, but she's turning into me really strong. She used her feet. I transition into a uh, double outside Ashigarami, looking for my own foot lock. She caught me twice, so I'm like, all right, let me put it on you now. So I'm using the key lock variation where you uh, use your uh, hands together, uh, framing across the shin. And I'm arching nice and slow, and she taps. So got to get her back a little bit for those foot locks okay another shake hands and fist bump call her tie she goes for under it snaps me down she wasn't watching paying attention so i just dropped into a double leg her legs were way too close um she's got the guillotine i'm looking for von flu choke she left it in too long i'm locking my hands but she's got little arms i don't feel comfortable with the back step right here because her right hand is about to slip out so I'm doing my best to keep her right hand stuck for the Von Flew. I can't commit to the back step because I know it's going to come out. So I think about instead, let me figure out what I can do instead of the Von Flew. I'm really just trying to keep it tight. I jumped him out really quick as she escapes and I'm looking maybe arm triangle. Can't get it. She's turning on her side. I go left hip down trying to set up another back take, little rolling back take. Uh, ninja roll, samurai, whatever your name is for it. She shut me down right there. She did not let me. I didn't make a very good uh, angle on that roll. So I'm checking a wrist lock right here. As I use the wrist lock to make her, uh, to distract her, I'm using my feet to try to escape the guard. Again, using double attacks, just like in the game of chess. Double attacks to try to separate and, and divide her attention. Two threats at once. The guard pass combined, and then she gave me an arm drag, so I go for the back. And she actually defended well. And she's going for my foot again. Oh my goodness. I got to keep her knees separated. I cannot let her isolate my right leg. And she's rolling. And I'm trying to keep my left knee in between so she cannot isolate it. And she ends up stepping around. And it's just too much pressure. And she catches me for a third time. So my ankles are getting really weak right now. Um, it is just... Uh, I got to kick her in the face now. She grabs my foot. 
takes me down, gets both ankles. I come back for the wizard. Um, she tried to limp arm, that didn't work. I brought her into the Merkel position again. And then I decided to transition this time into the honey hole. So uh, trying to keep my position. I'm able to lock the honey hole position pretty well for the uh, leg lace, but it didn't work. She pulled her right leg out. I need to heel hook her left leg. I'm trying to keep a hold of her right leg and cross it so I can isolate her left leg, and she squeezes her weaselly little leg out. And uh, she's tough, man. She's tough to get in those in those things. And I'm nice little juke move as I caught her right there. Go into an armbar hot dog a little bit because it was such a sweet juke move to get around that guard. And uh, looking to separate her grip. I go deep hook with the left hand. Um, right hand usually looks for leg control. Her hips are facing away. I'm thinking about how I can technically do this without using brute strength against this little girl. Um, again, I use right leg over, left leg over, trying to bite it down. She slips her arm out. I lose the arm bar. Uh, here, I, oh, I thought I was going to get her back by throwing my right leg, and she caught me in another footlock. This is getting ridiculous. My foot is so tender right now, guys. She touches my foot. She looks at my foot, and I start tapping. Again, um, if I had healthy ankles at this time, I don't think she'd catch every single one of them. I'd be able to fight through them, but oh, my goodness. Good. You want more? This is the, uh, the Nokia equivalent to tying your, tying your belt, like loose, so that it comes undone, <laughs> so you get a rest. This is the Nokia equivalent. This is I'm rushing. Did you say you're Russian? Russian. Oh. <laughs> All right, back again. She jumps on my back. Piggyback. Piggyback. I got to shake her off the side. She had crossed ankles. It's a lot easier to shake people off. I shake her off to the front. Now she's here. I'm in her guard. Trying to stay standing and break her guard open. She pulls my head down. I end up going two hands on the biceps. Still not sure what I want to do. I break open the guard. I back step. She captures a half guard. So now she's trying to come up. I'm thinking about an inverted arm bar, but she ends up catching me. It wasn't there. Bad timing. Trying to be slick, and it did not work. Okay, I get my underhook. Again, not when I when I go with Megan. I, I try not to use too much strength. I try to find the best technique, um, the easiest technique. Not, not using tons of energy. This is what makes me better and makes what makes the role fun. So if you guys are finding that you uh, use a lot of strength on little people, remember it's, it's not making you that much better. Um, it'll be a lot more fun if you try to be technical. She passes my guard for a split second. She goes for a guillotine. She latches on. Now she's got the double attack. Trying to pass guard and guillotine. I capture the ankles. Again, you can see we always end up in this situation because she loves those guillotines. I check her base one way or the other. It did not throw her off balance enough. Keeping my left arm underhook. She wins the underhook battle with her right arm. I still have half guard. And I get back my frame as she tried to say my position was terrible. So I bring her off balance, recover my guard, looking for inverted De La Hiva. Didn't work out. She ripped away. Uh, let's see. Open guard, I'm playing regular Del Hiva guard. And, uh oh. It looks like I'm trying to sweep her. It may be time for a Baron Bolo. I've got Del Hiva guard still. Oh, she loses her balance. Baron Bolo's coming. Baron Bolo's coming. Nogi Baron Bolo. Not very often do I get this, or you see this? I lock her leg down and you're in a good choke. Choke her out, Brian. <laughs> Shit. The Nogi Barabolo, yo. Oh, Megan does not want to be seen getting rear naked choked on video. So we go back at it. Uh, bring her leg to the side. Passing her guard. She hits a little roll. I end up catching her with what we call magic stick. A lot of people have a different name for that move. And I take her back using a magic stick, and she is totally upset again. 
because another rear naked is coming and she can't stop it. So, anyway, we're having a lot of fun. Um, awesome time rolling with Megan. Staying in low position right here on my toes. Okay. Try to get my controls and start a guard pass. Using my right leg, notice to step around. She caught me in half guard, so I back stepped. Maybe you can go honey hole. I'm stepping on her foot right now with my left foot. Trying to open her guard. I want to kick my right leg through and pass the guard. Boom, I pass my right leg through. And I step forward and go to knee on belly. She starts to turtle. I try to roll for the back. Uh, maybe crucifix. Notice I use my left hand on my shin. I'm going to catch crucifix just like handcuffs. And I'm trying to attack the crucifix. I feel she's going to escape. I had to switch to right leg control. I want to go to a reversal moplata. But she pulls her arm out and I elbow her face. So a lot was going on there. I'll have future videos where I show those attacks. Oh, and she jumped right over my, ma my guard while I wasn't looking. Um, surprised me there. Went right to the mount. Okay, let's see. She smashed me with her left shoulder, so I'm probably going to escape to my left. So remember, you always want to kind of go to the open side. So I want to get on my left side, get my left leg into the mat. She's putting her right leg up, so notice she's trying to get the underhook and walk my arm. I was able to bump to make space. I go double under, thinking maybe I can bump her and come out the back door. She still has the underhook on my arm and I probably could have forced it but instead I tried to go for a half guard maybe deep half and then it actually probably wasn't the best move because now she ended up in a decent position but I'm trying to create deep half guard notice the wiggling movement using my core trying to wiggle to create enough movement to get down low I'm able to snake my left hand out of that underhook try to grab my foot to get up and in and then she goes to her back for a guillotine and that gives me the sweep I tried to pass her guard, and I'm actually in a guillotine, a possible triangle right now. Um, but she won't let go of that guillotine, so I just push her leg down, and I pass. So my right leg is trying to secure her ankle. I'm thinking about maybe a knee bar on her leg. She has me in a guillotine. I'm no longer worried about that knee bar. I'm just trying to use technique to survive her guillotine and keep my guard. Try not to let her have more positional control. She looks to back step. Now she's her leg is leg dragged across as I sweep her. Maybe stoner control, but I can't lock down the bottom leg. She's framing me. Uh, pass the legs to the side. Come to the front headlock, and then I go for front body lock to, into one of my crucifix positions, what I call the tombstone. So we'll be doing that soon. Um, she actually traps my foot in some awkward position, screws me up. Um, so I can't go to my crucifix, but I'm looking for any type of weird choke this is an awkward position right here um, and now I'm looking about the the honey hole position but she's going for a leg lock now look at this she's gonna try to heel hook me without leg control and whoa she freaked me out right there and I totally screamed so that was nasty um, I survived though um, it's not I didn't tear my knee but man it was close as I've gotten older, I don't play around with that stuff. If people get me in a heel hook, just tap. You know, for the 40-plus club, we don't need those messed up knees. Some of you guys, even 30-plus, know what I'm talking about. So, oh, I go for an arm bar from knee on belly. She's short little arms. She pulls it out. I go for an arm bar. And then here is where I believe the magic is going to happen. I've got the Kimura. And now I've triangled her. I'm going looking for a wrist lock. I want to wrist lock her. I'm really trying hard to get it. And she, her hand, wrists are very flexible and she knows how to defend. And I can't do it. So I can't really make my triangle strong enough right here to, to finish technically. So I'm trying to figure out. Maybe I'll go for a toe hold. I didn't feel the angle was right. So I come back for the Kimura. So I've got her in a kind of like a triangle. And I'm thinking maybe I've got to use my left leg and my lock. Of my legs to try to separate a grip so we learned a lot of this from Gary Tonin um, I try to triangle her head and her arm and separate her grip and then I'm thinking you know what if she comes on her side enough I'm just gonna go to an arm bar and here's where this magic moment for Megan comes in uh, I'm so glad we were videoing this I go for an arm bar and she captures my left foot in the guard 
I try to use my right foot underneath to try to pull my left foot out to attack the arm bar. And... Tap, tap, tap. Oh my goodness. She just caught me in this crazy footlock. And now I'm awake. I'm sick and tired of my ankles getting pulled on. It's time to keep a good stance, stay in good position, keep my feet away. I snap her, I pull her in the direction just to kind of create movement. I fake the outside single, I go for the other leg, and I pass around the guard. I, she slips out, I go for a guillotine, and it slips out. I'm looking to sit up. She goes for my leg. I've got to get away from those legs. She now knows my Achilles heel at this moment. She has no guard at this moment. I go for a dole. She extends. Uh, again, front body lock position. Thinking maybe crucifix. Okay. Sprawl. Trying to set her up. Trying to look for what I have. I go for the Sergey Belaglazov front body lock. Um, just to see what I could get, I end up stepping in the half guard. But, wizard, she limp arms. And I'm going to keep her away from my legs. I back step in order to try to escape my leg. We're in a back step position right here, reverse half guard. Uh, she's got her left leg wrapped around my left leg. And she has the lockdown. She could try to take my back. And notice I'm blocking the cross face. I do not want that. I'm trying to back my butt up. Now once I expose my knee, I'm, I'm looking good again. Her left elbow is out. So with her left elbow out, I'm not in too much danger. She gets her left elbow back in. And I've got to watch that cross face. I'm thinking about maybe anytime she turns, I might try to go for the back. There's lots of back takes and guard passes, which are played right here. Again, I've got her arm isolated. She forces me back again. I'm pushing backward. She's pushing at my hips. We're here for a while. Um, now I decide I'm going to take the leg for a honey hole position, and she used her left leg to try to uh, escape that, and she did. So, again, through this position, I'm checking Kimura's back into a back step or reverse half guard, trying to now both legs, now I got my ankle out, very nice, I'll lift her leg and then check them out really quick. So while she was thinking about me passing the guard, I try to attack them out immediately. Um, she turns on her side, she's really good at doing this. Uh, she's so tight in the ball, it's very hard to attack. Looking for a wrist lock and then Barata Plata. So she knows the Barata Plata pretty well, she's fairly well versed in it. She's blocking me in my, now all the weight is on my left leg, so I really want to get that left leg out so that I could sit on her. I'm trying to see if she'll come up a different way. And I don't want her, her hand to escape right now. She's got little short arms, and if her hand escapes, it's going to go away. So I'm trying to keep it in the air. Maybe I can flip her and keep it going. She's rolling, she rolls back to her back. It's going to slip out right here, I believe, and I'm going to lose it. So when it slips out, Brata Plata slips out, I roll for an Omo Plata. Going for Omo Plata, capturing that far arm, and I get the seat belt position. She's scooting my hip out. I've got shoulder control on the far arm. She leans back to try to counter. I just go for head control and fit in. Instead of attacking her shoulder, simple rear naked choke will do. So... Nice little uh, exchange there. That was fun. Hello guys, how's it going? Brian Peterson here, uh, Peterson Grapplers. We just got done with our training session. I got done uh, rolling live with uh, this young lady right here. This is Megan Parducho. If you guys don't know, she's a purple belt. Um, I'm a black belt, but uh, and she's female, but she just kicked my ass pretty bad. Um, I just got foot locked probably like five times. Straight foot lock on my right ankle. Um, she just don't let her get a hold of your feet. She, she has such a good foot lock. And then every time she worked on it, it just more and more weakened my ankle. So I, I, I just had to like not even let her get close to my feet anymore. Um, so after I took a, the, the shellacking on this ankle over and over, I started to uh, try to turn it up on her. And she still started catching me. 
because through the, the scrambles we get into, we had a, we had a war. Um, she'd eventually find her way back to my foot. She's so good at, at the footlock. But I got caught in this crazy footlock that I've never seen before, and it was totally legit. Like, I don't know what else to say. I mean, look at her, her size, and she tapped me out with it. I don't think it's something we can duplicate very easy, but I want to show you what she did to me. So, I got, I got into an arm bar, and, you know, in this position, I thought for sure I had her finished. So, you know, I, I'm here, like, controlling the leg or whatever. I tried to break her grip, and then she, she pulled through, you know, on the other side through. And then it ended up like this. This is, happens every once in a while when you do arm bars. And um, usually it's the other way, but actually this happens quite a bit too. Usually she can sit up if this happens, okay? And so it's kind of hard to keep her head down. Um, there's a common technique where they use their elbow to put the, el the leg between the legs, and she turns into me and pulls her elbow out. And then like I can try to go for a knee bar, um, try to get some follow-ups. But because my ankle's trapped, it's hard to go for follow-ups on the upper body to get arm bars and stuff, triangles. So usually I'm like a knee bar skate they go into. But that's an arm bar skate. Well, through this, this attack, I, I ended up like, she, she moved her arm to the other side, like this somehow. I don't even remember actually, but she went over and she caught this leg. So look at, look at the ankle that she has. So she, instead of having this ankle, she had this one. And my other ankle was trapped under here. Now this does happen, like this position sometimes happens out of like deep half guard. Um, the person comes around for the arm bar. So she turned back into me and then she got a good grip on my ankle. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but my leg is straight. And then I'm trying to arm bar her. I'm about to break her grip but and try to get my foot free. But I don't know if you can see, she's got her all the way flexed. So my foot, easy, easy, tap, tap, tap. My foot's in like a ballerina pose and she just squeezes her hands around my leg. And then now, she just back arched into my ankle. It's a straight ankle lock. Like, yeah, I mean, it's totally legit. Like, I can't even get out. Like, I'm trying to take my leg out right now. She's too tight. But I'm done. But also, my ankles obviously hurt a little bit, so it's super tender. So, maybe you guys can try this. This is the Megan Parducho crazy, <laughs> crazy arm bar counter leg lock that, like, nobody ever knows. I've never seen before in my life. Uh, it's so funny because... It seems to me similar to like a knee bar. Like if Megan were to do like lock her legs around my ankle like this, and then she hugs my leg. She can hug my leg and knee bar me. This is common. Go ahead. And she can knee bar me. It's like the opposite of that, <laughs> where she has my leg like, no, no, just go, hug no, just like that. And then she's just leg locking me like this. Literally just arching the foot, making a straight fall lock, hugging the thigh, and then yeah, and obviously what made it tighter was my leg was trapped. So I had her in the arm bar, that she had like this. Now my leg is trapped, and even my arm in here, she's hugging. And so like, I'm trying to break her grip, but my own leg got stuck, and I couldn't twist. And she's just a beast. She's got some crazy hips. It's all in the hips, like Shakira. The hips don't lie. So. That's all I got to say. What do you got to say about you tapping me out with this crazy new leg lock? I'm going to try it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little embarrassed, to be honest, but I'm trying to put it out there. I'm trying to let my ego go. Black belts, sometimes we get tapped by uh, lower belts. Just remember, it's, it's all good. It's fun. It's jujitsu, and you're going to learn and get better, and I'm never going to let her get that again. I'm going to get so, it again. No, she's not. She's not going to get it the again. The worst part... And now, I'm going to make sure that my right ankle heals, and then I'm gonna come after her. And I'm never gonna give her my right ankle anymore. She's gonna have to learn something else. Learn those foot bumps. The worst part is we didn't get it on video. We videoed the whole roll, but the camera was focused on the upper body, the arm bar, so we missed the leg lock part. Yeah, so she, the live, I had the to, live one. and I couldn't even tap, I had to verbal tap. That's how good <laughs> it was. You know it's good when you have to verbal tap. That means you don't even have time to kind of just have to go, hey, oh, cool, 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 cool. I'm good. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching and good night.